Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jason. Uh, welcome back to Recovery Junkie. Uh, first off, I would like to say thank you for who's following me and giving me the support and courage to battle my addiction face to face. Uh, it's really given me the ability to, you know, uh, do this and uh, it's helping me out. Um, hopefully the videos that I'm bringing to you are helping you out because I know they're sure the hell helping me out. Um, today, like I said, I'm going to talk to you about drug slangs and uh, terminology. Hopefully they give uh, insight to parents and they can, uh, they can help you spot some things and you know, you know, help you know what to look for. Uh, places to they might want to look for these things are maybe on text messages, your Facebook page, Messenger, um, things of that area. Maybe if you can hear hear them uh, creeping around the house, talking on the phone, being real suspicious, you know, that might be a clue. Um, if you're trying to hide around, you know, be just be sneaky, you know, that that might be uh, that might be something to look for. So. Uh, we'll start off. I got some uh, stats too to go with these uh, to go with these drugs and uh, slang names. So first off, we'll start off with uh, marijuana. Um, we got slang names such as bud, weed, uh, trees, chronic, pot, green, herb, ganja, hemp, Kush, reefer. Hash, hemp. Uh, there's also loud um, symbols to look for. If you're going to be looking for symbols on text messages or their Facebook page, Messenger, so and so, uh, you're going to be wanting to look for marijuana leaves, um, 420, just the number 420. Um, you're also going to want to look for maybe Christmas trees um, or just like a puff of smoke. So be looking for stuff like that. Um, the statistics of weed, um, a third of 12th graders and 12% of eighth graders reported using, using it within the last year. Um, the biggest impact that marijuana has is on the brain. So obviously parents who think that it's okay to let their teenagers use marijuana, it's not because it has an effect on their brain development. You know, uh, kids who smoke uh, typically have um, lower paying jobs when they get out of when they get out of high school. So those are some stats there. Uh, we'll move on to cocaine. Uh, five percent of twelfth grade uh, five percent of twelfth graders use um, have have used it in um, in the in the United States. Um, your teen might be more likely to try cocaine if struggling in school. 35% 35, 35 of F students or failing students have used it once. And 13% have used it more than 40 times. Uh, it's most addictive behind heroin. And 17% of teenagers become addicted to it or dependent on it. So some of the slang terms for cocaine are coke, blow, soft, flake, nose candy, chowdies, that's a big one that I used, sniff, sneeze. I'm also going to attach a link that you can look up, because uh, I, I didn't add all of them in here, but I'm going to attach a link that you can look up uh, a lot of these on your own for as well. But a symbol that you might want to be looking for, for for this as well is a snowman, a cloud with snow coming down. So those are some of the ones that uh, I would use. Uh, for crystal meth, um, this, uh, the stats here, according to a recent survey, one in 33 teens in the U.S. are currently experimenting, or have, I'm sorry, um, are experimenting with with the drug starting at age of 12. A uh, quarter of teens say it would be easy to score meth and 10% say they have been offered it at least once. 
So it's very important to go over peer pressure uh, skills with, with your team and instill that inner strength and self-confidence with, with your team. Have a healthy, open relationship with your teenager. <clears throat> Slang terms for crystal meth. You have crystal, meth, Chrissy, Christy, Tina, crank, tweak, glass, ice, chalk, and shards. Now, once again, these are also going to differ from region to region. So you might want to tune up your uh, tune up your skills in your region. I'll also uh, attach a link um, that will inform you in your region what the what basically what the what your slang term is in that region. So hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, ecstasy. In the last year, 4% of high school seniors have taken the drug. Only 20, 25% of pills are pure MDMA. Uh, otherwise, you're just cut with caffeine and meth or anything from caffeine to meth. I'm sorry. X, uh, slang terms. X, E, the letters X to C. Molly, rolls, bean, candy. Scooby Snacks, there's also multiple other terms. Once again, I'll attach the link. So if you think, uh, if you hear your uh, son, daughter, whatever, on the phone, ask them where Molly's at. They're probably not talking about a girl, more than likely. And once again, if you have doubts, or if you think your, your son, daughter, your child is using, just get a drug test. Face the facts, you know? Don't be in denial about it. Get it over with. Deal with it. Heroin. Around 1% of high school seniors have tried heroin. Um, but each teen who experiments with it is at risk for different side effects. I mean, there's multiple different side effects that come with heroin. And the most extreme effect is obviously death. And a lot of teens overdose on heroin because... The potency is, is, you never know what's in heroin. You never know what the hell you're getting in that shit. So it's, it's dangerous. It's, it's a dangerous drug. All, drug. all drugs are dangerous, but I mean, once, once you're progressing to that level, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Uh, heroin slang terms. You got H, smack, dope, China white. Boy, brown sugar and junk. Um, a symbol that you might use here is just a boy. Oxycontin. Pain pills are going to be big because obviously a lot of people get, get prescribed pain pills and a lot of people are irresponsible with them. They don't leave them locked up. They leave them laying around. They don't think it's a big deal. This is where the epidemic starts out there. So you got to manage your pills. If you get them prescribed, lock them up. If you don't use them anymore, take them and dispose of them. This is where it all starts, folks. If you if you don't use them anymore, like I said, get rid of them. Um, Oxycontin. One in 20 admit to trying it. Th these are teenagers. One in 20 admit to trying it. Approximately 75% get addicted to Oxycontin. And that eventually leads to a, a heroin addiction. So those, those numbers are huge, you know. Oxycontin, slang terms, oxys, OCs, O's, 512s. That's, that's the, the numbers, 512. Um, blues, O's, kickers, hillbilly heroin. Um... Ritalin, this is another huge one. It's obviously a prescription drug. Kids get prescribed it. Make sure they take take their prescription. Watch them take it. Don't just hand them their pill bottle and, and leave it up to them to take it because obviously they might not take it. They might take it, sell it. They might just do whatever. Hand them their prescription. Watch them swallow it and, 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 do, and be responsible with it. Um, I really couldn't find... Um, an updated uh, report or uh, stats on this, 
but a 2000 report revealed that 5 million students, 5 million students have abused Ritalin or Adderall. And that's a 33% increase from 2008. And all the statistics that I, that I've noticed, it, it's obviously just, it's, it's on a rise. So something needs to be done about it. And uh, slang terms for Ritalin, you got RIDS, RIT, Skittles, Kitty Coke, Diet Coke, Vitamin R, R Ball, Pineapple, and Kibbles and Bits. Um, here's a big one too, Zannies. Uh, between 2005, 2011, the number of ER visits related to Zannies or similar prescription drugs. So you got Valium, uh, Clonopin, um, it, it nearly doubled. So, you know, you hear all these songs about Zannies and, and, and that's, you know, kids think it's cool to take that stuff. And uh, it's not, you know, obviously they're a prescription drug for a reason and uh, they just get abused. So Zannies, slang term, we got Zannies, bars, Z-bars, Zambars, Yellow Boys, white boys now the reason why they're called that is because yellow boys the yeah, bars uh white boys they come with white bo white bars or yellow bars um white girls obviously they're white <clears throat> so obviously they just switch it up um blues they come with little blue oval pills or blue footballs um and then just blues alone so um, children obviously use these slang terms to, you know, hide it from authority figures, you know, teachers, the law, parents. Um, but uh, it's important to to know these slang terms, and uh, there's there's multiple different uh, multiple different drugs that I didn't I didn't list. Um, there's Adderall, you know, obviously there's Addies, Uppers, you know, there's there's multiple different terms that. I didn't list for each drug that I'm about to name. You know, there's bath salts, there's synthetic marijuana, such as Spice, K2, um, there's PCP, LSD, uh, mushrooms, and inhalants. But like I said, I'm gonna attach that link with this post or with this uh, YouTube video, and you can look it up yourself. But um, like I said, this is just the beginning of my channel. And um, I will get into my story and uh, and that, but I just wanted it to be informative. And uh, and that so obviously I wanted to kind of show you guys how maybe your son, daughter, child, or whoever, maybe your cousin, nephew, niece might act or sound in in a situation, or you might hear when when encountered. Or, or being around the talk, you know, because obviously you hear me talking about this, but so let's say, so let's say you're, you're, you walk in or whatever, and you know, obviously something's going on and you walk in and they're looking for, they're looking for some Molly. So you hear them on their phone, they're being kind of, being kind of inconspicuous, you're trying to be inconspicuous. But they're like, hey, you got you got that Molly or you got that loud, you got you got you got the trees, you know, obviously they might be looking around or they might be trying to, you know, separate the separate themselves. They might be, you know, being in a room with a closed door or obviously they're they're gonna they're gonna be they're, they're gonna try and hide, you know. So be involved with your with your child's life you know have have an open healthy relationship with them so when they are encountered with with drugs or peer pressure and they can come to you and, and talk about this stuff because it's it's important to not only to not only be able to talk to you about it but to let them know who who's who's you know who's offering this stuff to, to their to your child at school um but uh it's important this is important because 
this is where it all starts. This is where I started when I was younger in school. I always thought, yeah, I could just, I could, I could blow a couple trees, drink some beers, and I'll be fine. But no, this, that's where it all started. You know, everybody thinks that marijuana, having a couple beers, it'll be fine.